Super Mobile. Welcome back, everybody. Very cautious with you walking into things. Uh, we're back playing Factorio Death World Season 6, and uh, today we got a few things on the docket. I want to make a few of these electric... That'll be, that'll be enough to get us started anyways, ten of them. Um, I saw... Yeah, I want to also make some more robo-ports. Do we have a place making more robo-ports? I don't think we do. Um, however, we have some beautiful bots delivering me some stuff. Nice. Get a couple of robo-ports done. Lovely. Uh, I didn't... Did I set gears? I did set gears. Good. I like it. Now, uh, one thing I didn't do is, uh, think about getting our next tech, or our tech going. The thing that I want most right now is effect transmission. Uh, why? I will, I don't know. Covert enrichment would be a good idea too. Um, but no, the effect transmission would be really good, and it's not that expensive. Only 75 purples. Um, let's see. Can we put in uh, something here, and here, and here? Yep, that sounds great. They all, that all worked. That was the easy part. Uh, we'll put some track in here. Bonk, all of that. Uh, and we need some. Oh, we need electric furnaces for that. I see. That's unfortunate. Uh, productivity modules. I had some up here, right? Yeah, right there. Boom. That, that. All right, well, that's not not as intended. I need 75 electric furnaces for that. Hmm. Bothation. All right, so everything else is there. What does it take to get an electric furnace? I think they are... Yeah, they're steel, red, and stone brick. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Steel, red, and stone brick. Am I doing this? I think I am. Steel, red, and stone brick. Stone brick. That steel, red, stone. Keep saying that, it'll happen. Um, there is fine. I need you to go in there is fine. And now, uh, let's go with stone brick. We don't have any stone brick anywhere over here. Uh, what I could do is, no, I can't do it from here. I can do just a temporary mess of a fix here. Go over this way, tell this thing to not have the limit. Go like that far. That's basically full. That's basically full. Well, that is full. Jeepers. Uh, it's just a matter of not getting enough stone down there. We could get that rolling again if we wanted to. Uh-huh. No. Okay, whatever. Um, all right. Did the dumb there, but that's okay. So, if I put that in... I could make steel hit this other side of this. That would do the job. For that. That solves that issue. And all I need to do is put the stone brick in. That, I can do a container here with uh, stone brick. Okay. Uh, to get that stone brick, and then that'll let us have enough to dump some number of these into a box somewhere. Like there. Um, and there. 21 second timer, huh? You can be one of those and you're fine. Um, Alright, then that'll dump out the output into that beast right there. I don't hate that idea. Okay? Good. Now the stone brick itself, I don't think it'll be standing around anywhere waiting. Maybe. And in here, and for the rail in there. Alright. That is enough. There's 90 of those pieces, so we can get 
stone brick into that and that'll be all it needs to run enough furnaces in to a have some furnaces for us which would be nice and b yeah there's our 500 brick already good 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 uh i wouldn't mind putting in another drill up there to run this stone across that would probably be a smart call just a s quick little half dozen or so drills to keep the stone supply going we do need walls over here eventually but it's not not really that important right now I'm gonna put this down here instead. Oh, that's that's covered with this guy. Eh? Oh, that's interesting. Um, so I'm gonna have a red output here. Um, override stack one, and this can be a single stack of those. That'll be fine. All I need to do is throw the brick in here. You need how many? Ten stone brick. You take about five seconds to run. You'll put one there, and you'll put one down here, and that'll be a happy day. Okay. I need that to work steadily. Not quite going to work because I don't have a, uh, a hand. I'm hand feeding them, so. I don't mind it as long as there's like giant stacks where I can only cross town once sort of thing. But while that's happening, let's see. Do we have drills? We do? Okay. Uh, we also have, like, a vehicle, don't we? Somewhere? Don't we? Do we? I don't know. Um, over this way is a supply for that. So I can literally just run this like this. Not gonna be anything spectacularly fancy. And I'm out of belt. Nice. Uh, right to here. Okay. Need more belt, but that's fine for now. And uh, let's just grab something off of another, off of another, off of this. Let's do that. And um, this will do. One tile down there, and that'll cover everything. Good. Nope, that did not work. Uh, we'll come down. That. And that. That actually works just fine. Uh, you can just come like this. that there and there not connect and go like that and wherever that line leads to um you can go off this way i do need more belt obviously like that good we'll go grab some belt and hopefully that'll be enough to get the stone flowing without any major work uh, next thing I want to do is, uh, as those things are starting, this is this is starting to produce stuff that we need. So it's starting to get our our electric furnaces going, and that'll be the next sort of a a step as far as I want effective transmission on there. Um, thanks, guys. Are you delivering those for me? I did tell you to bring me fifty. Excellent. They will do that. Uh, I've got a bunch of brick. I should throw it in there. Good. It's going. How many purple do we have? Already 23, guys. Already 23. That's amazing. There you go. Do that thing. Um. Okay. This is really shoddy and not finished. That's okay. We don't really need it to be. Uh, let's see. Definitely more, want more pipe, and I don't have pipe as, an, as a pickup order. So let's go ahead and say, give me 200 um, pipe, and also give me, um, say, 100, 100 to 200 of that, and this one can go 200 to 400 of that. Good. Okay. Thank you, logistics friends. Uh, what else? Hmm, my squeaky old chair needs to be replaced. I need to use more, use stand up more. Today is a sitting down day. Um, 
that's gonna get me those. The power, I just need the belts. I just need the belts to run that. And I'm not even gonna throw any, you know, robo anything over that way. I'm just gonna go grab some belts, throw it down, let it run. It will need to have, um, I didn't make belts a thing, right? Should probably make belts a thing. So let's say, give me 100 of those, give me 50 of those. Almost don't need them at this point, but that. This is going to be the 50 of those. This is going to be the 50. This is going to be the 50 of the underground reds. And let's go with 200 of the belts. Maybe 200 of those belts as well. There we go. Okay. Anything more is uh, going to go back? Okay. That's not ideal, but whatever. It'll put in a storage unit that can be um, extras. Yeah, sure. All right, we got our electric furnaces. That's good. Is it just a all in butt all over the place? Uh, did I get my belts? I did. Okay. Well, let's do that. Actually, let's go ahead with this thing for a moment and say this can be infinite on those and I should grab more because oops I did that wrong shouldn't I ought to done it I need a lot more yellow than just a couple hundred so Take all that there's a robo port in there for Pete's sake excuse me mister um too many fine fine oh my god not fine that go in there Good gracious, that's a mess. Walls and stuff and doors and stuff we don't have. That's fine. I don't need them to stop. Well, no, I don't need them to stop me with that, with that at all. Okay. However, I do want more of these things here. And they need steel and they need iron. Just straight up iron and steel? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you. I'm not stealing anymore. Are you going to steal it? Oh, you're not. Okay, good. Uh, and some iron. See, this is why this is why I usually leave these. I don't use them well. That's the reality. I just don't use them well. Um, I'm going to go with 15 of those and a couple more of those guys. Good. And you're probably fine now. Yeah? Was it that that I wanted? What did I just make? More tanks. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, that works. Any number is fine, but that, that's a good number. Goodly any number. Uh, explosives, please. Alright, now. Now that that's in place, we have this stocking a decent chunk of uh, brick for us for later. We'll go put, to put together this little stone up here, and then we will have a look at a design idea for how we're going to lay out um, how we're going to lay out our smelting before I mine or collect any other ores or look for any other outposts of any sort um, I want smelting with the exception I guess of uh, uh, uranium it needs to have a um, it needs to have a bit of attention but not immediately it does, it's not going to be the now job. There, there, there. Nice and clean little layout. And then this guy right in the corner. And then all those drills are going. What a beautiful thing. Alright, that's like way more stone than we've had in a long time. And that'll fill this line. I will actually put a splitter on those to because I want to kind of prioritize emptying things. So open this up a little bit there there priority input uh, right you run down this way you come down here blah 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 
these drills fill something, but they're not really. Let's go down here. And then make sure they do their job. Like that. And again, priority input right. Take all the old stuff, funnel it in there, good. Okay. This can all go out of here because that's not necessary. Those are not necessary. I got lots of stone if I need it. Sitting around in the storage there, I can always switch my bots up and say, hey, throw me a bunch of stone. At some point. There we go. That'll fill up more than I need. Uh, I'm actually going to grab... I was going to say I'm going to grab some walls, but of course I just filled up, so I'm not. Um, just to keep the stockpile here going. What do we got? 300 and something. We need more grenades. And there you go. Some more of those. That's still gonna go. There's 27 in there. There is another 43 in here. Plenty. Okay. Uh, that, of course, is going to go like this. Instead of throwing them away. Thanks, you jerk. You ran off with one of my purples. Get back here. Two of them. You heathen. Wait, what? I just, oh, I didn't switch it. I slid and then I closed. I did not switch. What the? What the heck? Where'd you go? Oh. Gotcha. Alright. Now, that's getting effect transmission going for us. Effect transmission steel, reds, greens, and copper. We gotta make those, in fact, we have to make those for a long time. Um. A long time. <laughs> yeah, very, 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 very large amount of those. Um, let's see, can I move this beast? I sure can. Let's go with a... Um, regular batch right here? No, oh, where's the regular one? Where's the regular one? Um, here. That to that. That's what I want. I think. Uh, red is here. Here. Red input there. Green input there. That and that. That's not what you want to be. You're going to be an effects transmission fellow. Uh, and over here, these will be changed to the thing that I can't put yet. Uh, so let's remove those. Alright, so that's not doing anything yet. It'll need red, it'll need green, copper, and something else I just said that I already forgot. Uh, oh, copper key. Dang it. Okay, up there, please. Bring that, you can be. Cable. No, 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 no. Cable. <laughs> Alright. Now, once that last few percentage is done, we'll be good. So, what I'm gonna, thinking of doing is the next step, and this is why I was kind of delaying all with all this fiddly bits today. Ooh, they're still working. Look at that. 19. You're down to 23k per box, and this is still going. Nice. Now, that's gonna slow down once this plastic builds up basically, so we're not going to be using it. So I'm thinking we get uh, some work done on uh, explodey stuff. I don't need that 20 and 20. I need that like 20 and 60, 20 and 40. It's fine. Go ahead like that. Not a lot of them. Okay. Um, and pop, 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 pop. our smelting lines are not going to look anything like that now. Oh, look at you at you coal why is that empty that's how oh, it's a very close to very close to the same okay somewhere in this general vicinity I think I want to do a smelting system I think I don't know if I actually want to do it like that uh, let's actually have a look at last season's what did we do um, one second uh, this is episode 49 
Um, let's load up last season's. A throwback to the end of last season, shall we? And hi, hi, little friend that we miss so much. That's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, smelting, smelting, smelting. Smelty, smelting, smelting. I don't need to run around. I just need to grab from over. There it is. That's an interesting layout. I kind of like it. Those are very powerful lines. Each of those takes, each row of these would takes and consumes an entire row, blue row of, of input ores. Makes productivity threes, speed threes, goes along at an obscene 370% with a productivity bonus of 20. I approve of this system. And therefore, I will duplicate this system. All right, let's go control. Go blueprint. Can I make a blueprint? Let's add a blueprint that goes from here to here. Good. There's a, there'll be a missing piece there, that's fine. Four inputs, four outputs. Full blue belts. I believe those do full blue. Alright, let's save this as um, end game smelter. Sure. Save. Export string. Copy. Good. Go. Uh, let's back go over here and load up our current series. Learning from the past periodically is not a bad idea. And uh, import string. There you go. Ta da da. That is thick. Girthy, you might say. Or girthy. Uh, the train tracks are on the top. Um, okay. Now. That's smelting direct, or that's smelting at a central location. What if we smelted straight off the the systems? What if we sent, smelted straight off the systems and then and then truck uh, trained that to the base? So the station here would be a station down here would be unloading um, material. But this whole section through here, instead of what it's doing, would be unloading materials. Interesting. Interesting. Do we want that or do we want... I guess these are... The system is consuming. It's consuming fairly consistently. It's not full speed yellow belts, but it's consuming constantly. So if we were, for an example, if we were to go over to this copper to the east... Yeah, the problem here is though, though is we have to kind of scale. We'll have to have a system that scales to whatever deposit sizes. This thing's not going to provide us with four blue belts worth of ore. That's the point, right? That's my thoughts. Like this, maybe one of these bigger ones would. So do we mine the ore? And then we mine the ore and then smelt it immediately next to it and then run that on the trains and whatever else? Or do we bring the ores to centralized drop points and pump ore through a central smelting? I think we're going to have to go with the central smelting. I feel like the logistics involved in it otherwise is too thick. Too thick. Yeah, that's probably the truth. All right, um, so where do we do this then? If we have a trains that do dropping up there and we have this beautiful girthy piece that we made, where is it? That. Right, that's four lines of ore outputting from where? Trains are dropping off in the north. 
supplies dropped off. Yeah, that's that right there is four blue. Um, we could do. We could run it all the way around there, basically across from here to here could be the smelting lines. Everything deposits on top into trains, various different train drops, and then goes um, so the trains deposit pump the ores into this. This then goes into a smelting system that's used in on a bus whatever down here. Or to the west in this section. I think I can I can abide that. So maybe over here is where we will do our first run of this. Seems sensible to me. If the ore is coming off west, and we leave enough space for like probably like a chunk this size, so then this would be up like here. And leave some space so that it's not crowding that beast. But also don't want it to be built by those, because those are going to be wall systems, wall defense systems. So if I make sure that this is outside of the build, or that the, the uh, RoboPort would be outside of the connection of this, right? then our RoboPorts are going to be not connected down there, not connected there. We're going to be somewhere over here. Right, and then we're going to be somewhere up here. I don't hate that idea. Um, and then the smelting is going to fit in between. Or it will, of course it will. I mean, I made it for that, right? Oh my god, I did. It actually fits. Wait a second. Does it legit actually fit? That's stupid dumb luck. Um, but I will do it like this. Ah, but how's the how's the cross connection here? Let's see. Because if that if that actually fits within a square within the square grid of one of these, I will be utterly impressed. Utterly impressed. I don't want the logistics to link to that guy though. Well, that does now, but I could back this guy off. That's what we'll do. Oh, you know what? I don't need to at this point. This is not actually necessary in here. Because this RoboPort and this RoboPort are defending something that is not... Does not need defending. It's inside the exterior wall. So that is entirely redundant. We'll just disconnect. It's fine. I like it. Okay, then uh, the deal is this beast would be a uh, run in between them. Now, what do we do? We have one side there, and then a pathway down the other side? Probably the, co the choice, right? Go right like that. And then the next one would be like that. I like this. That'll give us enough space of six or whatever, enough to drive easily and comfortably between them. Heck, we could run trains between them if we needed to. Because I should have robots, like, hurling death and carnage around right here. Now let's clean up the general area, like that. Now, they're going to just go crazy on placing stuff. This is not connected to the system, but I do want it to be. So what I'm going to do is um, grid this out a little. And I guess that's where the grid's going to start, isn't it? If everything else is going to come off of the smelting. Look at that. What's going to happen? Now, you guys don't reach, so power is going to be above each of those. Well, that's not on, right?
There. Good. Friends. Hello, friends. I'm sorry I'm ignoring all your hard work. I apologize. Alright, so if that's the deal, then we grid it so that the power poles are on the top. The one is on the top, and one is somewhere in the middle. I don't know how to position these in a way that's legitimately, like, for sure grid. Wait, that's two plus whatever number of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four. Yeah, and this is the actual one. One, two, three, four, five. Um, power on top. One, two, three, four, five, and then there. And in there, and in there. Sort of, not really. I know, it's silly, but we'll do it. All right, that's the plan there then. Good. If I copy this, what's the, what's the, the drift here? If I do this and then I spin this, does this work? Probably. Oh no, this way. That. And then we should have uh, another power pole running between them at the same distance. From there to... I think we'll put it in the middle though. Right? No, we'll put it like this. Oh. Interesting. Those are max range, which means these power poles should sit um, right there. Like that. To be centralized. Right? Because that will then run in between this batch to there. Hey, boom! Ah, I'm watching them do that. I like it. Okay, now, now all this whatever jargon down here is out of the way, but that's fine. So that actually works quite nicely. Because for these, you can even... Hmm. That's on top of that. For these, you can even go in the middle. Interesting. I'm just letting these guys do their thing, but this will be your central piece right here. And it doesn't fit there. Oh, I see. Okay, that's not going to work for the power lines here. So the whole thing has to go over. That's fine. I can move the grid over, actually. The whole thing has to go over two tiles to the right. So then I just uh, cut to this. And we put it so that it goes there. Boom. Yes, I like it. And then we cut this. And we move over two tiles. Boom. I like it. Yes, I do. That's really nice, eh? That'll go over, that goes over a couple tiles. Blah, 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 blah. Then we slide the actual grid there. And we say this is the positioning for those guys. The whole thing is going to bump into only a power pole in the bottom. This I, Of this I can approve. Right? Oh, that's good. That's very, very enjoyable symmetry. That power that I just removed was absolutely not necessary, was it? 
Oh my, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous right there. Let's go, friends. Clean up the mess. Oh yeah. Okay, so what's happening here then is... The output lines? Flipping around? Oh yeah, I see. What, I remember what we're doing. So these, these are too much. This half and this half has to take each half a belt to smush them together as an output. That is huge productivity. Okay, then this goes out of here, and uh, this goes out of here. Well, let's throw this in instead. Um, there. that oh I like this grid it's nice it's beautiful it's happy it makes my soul peaceful <laughs> all right I do not want these logistics connected though did I link them I didn't right good just about oops okay that is gonna be astonishingly powerful when it gets all filled out I think anyways maybe you're like uh, this is your big version but whatever it's my big version. It's my party and I... Alright. Right. Good. Fun blowing things up as well. Oh yes, yes, yes. We definitely want those in place. Good. Okay, so then this would input the ores on the top, the plate on the bottom. It'll then bu buzz off to the west here with uh, bus lines of bumbling bus lines of fun the belt so we would then have this as uh, like four lanes of right there right like this As our output, actually, this would be not our output. This would be there. One, one, two. Right, and then that continues out like this. And then from the next batch, which should be another printable drop of this whole thing, which would also be iron, probably. Um, where is that blueprint? There. It only needs one little adjustment. This actually sits directly under the lip of that. Right up against the top corner of this power pole. There. The only adjustment is this piece. Which is fine, because if, if the grid's already in, it won't place that. Good gracious, that is a lot. Okay, so we're gonna obviously need to start doing lubricated belts, or the blue belts, to get that going. Now it's not going to keep up at any stretch, so we could actually switch this to uh, an upgrade belt, for instance, and we could just tell it that it's gonna be, instead of blue, it could be, do we have spacing for it to not be blue? It can't go to yellow, but it can go to red. Let's do that. Let's say we do this, and we say from blue, switch down to red, please. Like that. And then I take all this and I say, switch this to red belt, please. Thanks. And then we actually put it in place. A blam. We're going to need a lot of stuff. Now, this grid is not connected to the other grid, so that's the last piece of, probably the last thing we'll get to do today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say we keep cleaning like this, this much anyways. Um, I will not do that. I might need that for up here. I do, however, have um, a grid piece. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Not you. There it is. Okay, so that goes here and just keeps doubling itself up. Boom boom. 
Yes, excellent. Get to work, friends. Get back to work. What are you doing being so slow? It's not my fault. It's all your fault. You're following my instructions so poorly. <laughs> terrible. I'm a terrible boss. Uh, boom. I wanted that explosion fun myself. Okay. Grid, grid, grid. Good, good, go. Good, good, go. There you go. You're connected nicely. Now, this is not connected to the grid. I am going to try that again. See if we can just plop, find a place to plop it. No, it's not going to follow the grid. So we could remove. That's all internal. And that is literally just sitting on this. Dang, I missed. <laughs> Alright. Um... Does it work? That'll work. There we go. So these will be part of the grid. We don't have the explosive for that, which is unfortunate. I'll come back into logistics range here. I don't have robo ports, I'm sure, for all those. Get some crafting anyways. Well, the bots come with some fine deliveries. Now, I think... This is, is this going to be like, are you way out of range? Oh my. Are we one tile off being able to connect to that grid? We are. <laughs> That's one tile deeper. If that was one down, well, it would have to be over here. It'd be like there. That would connect to the new, new, uh, robot port. <laughs> if I take that out. It's no longer linked. Why? Because oh, because the explosive. Thanks, boys. Um. Okay, out. Somewhere it's got to connect. Whatever. I don't care. Toss that. Thank you, friends. Okay, that's in place now. Now this is like... Oh, you're not connected. You're one tile. Look at that. One tile right up in here. <laughs> that was so close. We almost had it. Why are you guys all so bloody slow? Oh my goodness. Oh, Telemannus too. Get in there, lads. There, reconnect that stuff, all right? Why are you guys moving so freakishly slow? Automatically building repairs, friendly entities. Where are you headed? I wish I could tell. Down to like remove some trees or something? I have no idea why. Why are you so slow? Is it belt work? No, they're not doing belt work. Oh, are you guys going down to. No? Is this connected now? I didn't link those, no? I did not. So they have to be going somewhere down here. Why would you go down to repair at that spot? Oh, they're running out of power, maybe? They're running from the north, they're running down to a powered up unit? Yeah, that must be it. Wait a second, are you guys... Oh, stuff. thought those were, uh... Modules. I'm like, how'd you get those? No, they weren't. Okay, so the now the downside of this whole thing, there is a downside. Surprise, surprise. Uh, the downside to this whole thing, aside from the fact that we don't have the transmit the uh, the uh, beacons and we don't have uh, the the speed the tier three speed modules and production modules, that's fine. Uh, and we of course don't have the ore to put in. But the biggest um, another issue is that we don't have anywhere near enough power to run this sort of a, a grid. Now, this should be... Oh. That runs off filter, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's fine. That's fixed, because that was where the robo port slot was. So that's corrected. I like this. This fits nicely tucked in here, right? Eh? Because this side now has, like, what? Three, four slots? Yeah, it's got a four four slot path here, which is fantastic. It means I could actually like go ahead and say, "Where's my, where's the this stuff right here?" 
I could go like this and be like, that's a four wide by whatever. Right? Let's come in here. Come in here and make me a nice little roadway, will ya? Right? That would be amazing. Look at that. Look at all that beauty, huh? Uh, and then this would have a path obviously running there. Nice. Oh, I love this. This is going to start to look pretty, guys. It's going to start to look pretty. Now that's blue. I don't want it to be switched up to the reds yet. You'll be there as your output. You will not. You'll be there as your output. Somewhere in there. Oh, that's going to look nice, huh? Uh, just letting them do their job while I'm thinking and then really enjoying the beauty of what we've got here for now. It's the start of something beautiful. I'm so good at sliding the mouse evenly across the left and right. Incredible. There we go. Like that's a that's a legitimate end game refinery, I think. I mean, maybe not mega base level for some people's versions, but that to me seems awesome. Of course, once it's upgraded back or back upgraded to the blue belts. It uh, doesn't need them right now. We don't have the belts production right now, so that's fine. This thing is just what? Needing a bazillion chargers? Sure, no problem. But we linked this entire network. So everything from up here all the way down. The oil is linked. Oh, the oil? Yeah, the oil doesn't have logistics there. That's fine. But now these guys should be full, right? They should be right full up. And these should all be full up. Oh, those aren't even built. Because I don't have a spot for them. And there, that's fine there. Uh, why have they stopped? Hmm. Oh, because the only source is the... No? Oh, I see, yeah. Because it stopped because of the petroleum. There's no petroleum storage. Sure, no problem. Uh, I guess we got, uh, we're pretty much out of time here. But one last thing. Uh, I'm going to shut my box off for a moment. I'm sure I had a car somewhere, didn't I? Where did I leave my car? Where did I park my car? Up here. Really? That's what I did? Really? Really, Drake? That's how you park? And the other one's over there. You, what the bloody heck is this doing here? Who said you could be there? You git. Alright, well, as long as he doesn't eat my trains. Probably what he's doing. There's the oil, uh, the, the system is set up so that this is the parking spot. It right? doesn't spend much time parked on the other side. So, all right, let's go north. Um, and I guess I'm gonna go this. There's a lot of bot activity right now. I think that might have queued some bot production. Oh, look at this! Just enjoy it. Just, just feel the buzz. The buzz around is so beautiful. Um, also, that's gonna use up pretty much- oh, yeah. That's impressive. I don't know that that's much faster, but, eh. Uh, alright, the other thing is I could do is that. Toss some of those in the- on the west. How are we doing on the oil here? Down to 21k and 16. It's going in the right direction. Oh, and our petroleum is up, so these guys are shut off. Good. So this is gonna like this is gonna take a month of Sundays to clear this out. That's entirely fine by me. Even if it's that exact number of days. Which everybody knows is a very long time. It's the same as infinite, pretty sure. Um those are pat yeah, that's fine. And how are we doing over here? For you? Uh you're missing track, eh? Well, that's terrible. I should have my explosive cliff explosives if they have any. Good. There. 
I don't have a track rule, do I? No. Didn't want one. Up here, go through the track in there, except for maybe a stack. Good. Wait a second. Oh, you get three per set. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a lot of them. That's a goodly number of purples. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need it right now. Effects transmission is whatever's in there is probably go oh, three at a time. Yeah, you'll need a few. I was supposed to finish that earlier. Okay, that's fine. What else? Is there anything else urgent on the to-do list before I end off today? I left down there to come up and do something. Ah, yes. I want a storage for these babies. Iron and steel. Iron and steel, please. I mean, there's iron and steel here, obviously, so maybe I can just toss it in over here. But if there isn't, steel's at the... no, steel's there. Uh, let's say this, right here. It's copied to right there. Sure. Uh... What's going on here? Oh yeah, that's that's right. Oh, I can't trip that. That continues that way. Nope, that doesn't go that way. Uh, this would have to go like this to use that as the output. And this is going to be uh, these steel bins, please. Uh, when they're below, I don't know, 20. You're gonna grab steel and iron? You can't reach the iron because that's placed wrong? No. You grab them from there. Oh. That's why you can't. You're there to there. You're gonna be there. But they probably don't need you. That's not what you're supposed to be making. You're making those. Oh, and I didn't put power in. Probably do that. There you go. Some iron going down there. Some steel will go in there, except for this guy's the wrong thing. Because I had the wrong order on there. And then you'll set up to dump those into here. That's fine. I don't really need them. Let's do that. There we go. All right, we got the backup, we got the supplies. Then they'll start filling in that beast on the right. The stone is backed up. Okay, we got a lot accomplished today. I think it was a, produ a productive day. I should get to my car, though. Uh, that should link the petroleum gas. That should link the light oil. That should link the heavy oil. There we go. Evening it out until we get one of each in. In fact, I can go ahead and do one of each myself because I have that magical power. And uh, good, good, I'm okay with this. I'm not putting my bot on, my bots on right now. Grab him in my pocket. Okay, very productive. So we have oil cracking up here that's gonna start filling these for future use. Um, this whole central piece will eventually get disappeared but for now i mean we got the oil way up top and we got the the uh, iron smelting way down the bottom but i'm not hitting that idea we probably will turn we'll probably remove this whole thing eventually and turn this whole central core into the main productivity base i'm not sure but either way i can train the oil back down if i need to right i can have a tank of each that just runs until inactive whatever uh, I think that's okay. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you, everybody, so much for your fun and joining me in the fun. Appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day, and we'll see you again.